Hey, good morning, guys. Come on in, come on in, get in here, get in here. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Uh, oh my God, I just wanted to stop by um, and share just my gratitude to um, each and every person who has um, just been a part of our love movement from day one. Um, I wanna thank people who have sent kind words who have, who we have met along the journey and now are bringing up those inspiring stories where we have uh, been able to help people or share our love wherever people were. Um, everyone who has donated through um, our link, so our social media links, Facebook, um, if you donated through PayPal, um, wrote a check however you have poured into this uh, nonprofit that we have been able to support people. There's so much to this journey that I'm just grateful that we are now having opportunities to share with the world um, because now we know they're truly listening. Um, and I'm so grateful to uh, Tyler Perry for reaching out to us, seeing our story. Huge shout out to uh, Miss Wendy Corona, at um, Channel 2 for doing that insert and all of the people from uh, WSB TV who has followed our journey. We were on People to People a couple of years ago. We did a route from Atlanta to California. Uh, we did about 11,000 hygiene kits and we were featured there. We also did a, um, a trip from Atlanta to New York City. Um, distributing over 10,000 love bags. So, you know, we're not new to the rodeo. We have just uh, been blessed to have a, a seat on a different platform and um, I'm just excited about it and I want I just wanted to stop and say thank you thank you thank you thank you um, and, and this is a testimony to those who are are digging in and doing the work of whatever your business is nonprofit uh, profit business profitable business um, you know God is always speaking to us you know the universe is always moving and you have to really align yourself with your spirit and really be able to take an onion like an onion and peel back those layers and really find out who you are in life and what your purpose is and what your driving force is and who, who your creator has created you to be and once you're able to do that the sky is the limit and so i have never wavered from doing this work um, and when I, um, you know, had my own experience of being, uh, homeless, uh, it truly taught me how to be humble. It truly taught me how to, uh, look at, look, look, look at people, uh, where they were. It, it, I saw the injustice of how the stereotype behind the, the word homeless. I know a lot of people use different words, um, to describe this this experience and I always go back to homelessness or homeless people because that is the stigma behind it you know it's a I'm sorry there is a stigma behind that word but it is just an experience of what people may um, have to encounter and so I've never been one to listen to people saying well you should get people off the streets well if they really knew my story and where we were sitting in a financial uh, uh, where we were sitting from a, a financial uh, uh, um, the, the avenue of what we were doing in the community we didn't have the resources to get people off the streets so what God blessed me with was a vision to meet people in their immediate need I'm going to say that again where their immediate need is so we are sheltering in place we have the a blessing or if you're able to go into your restroom and wash your hands and you know and use soap and and go into your refrigerator and grab something to eat or cold to drink uh, whenever you get ready people who are experiencing homelessness don't have that luxury and so god didn't give me the vision to do all of these different things god gave me the vision to meet their immediate needs now in a vision it grows um i have um countless of things that i've written i have a blueprint to the you first building that god has shown me and so once we get to that avenue it's gonna happen i already know it is and so but until then the need right now is to make sure that people have soap which we truly know is save lives 
um, to have the basic need like water and food. And if we are just providing that in this pandemic time right now uh, with what we've been able to do and solely really from you because you guys have seen our work, you guys have made the donations. Um, and so we're grateful for that. And so that's why we've been able to continue to do this work. So I am just encouraging people, you know, um, God truly blessed us last week. But I know God is not done <laughs> with um, you first. And I know that the same God that I serve or that who your creator is and what you believe in um, can can turn the I was used to tell my son he he um he's a right and so he would say mom when they call my name I'm always the last person in line <laughs> and I say son you never know when the teacher is going to turn that line turn that line around and you're going to be in the front and so I've always been that person to believe no matter what I went through in my life God's going to turn that line around and so where we are in this pandemic we're seeing people everyday people who have been doing this work all along. And now that people are home and they're witnessing, you know, people uh, helping the, the uh, people on the front line with lunches and things like that and um, helping senior citizens, these things have been going on all the long, all, all the while. You know, nonprofits, we've been hitting the ground, we hit the pavement pretty much every day uh, because we, we're out here scrapping for pennies um, because we haven't gotten there yet. And so we know what it feels like to to navigate in a place when you don't have you work with what you have right so uh, we're gonna do the work I'm excited about it I'm excited about some of the phone calls we received uh, we have some more exciting news I can't share yet but just just anticipating on like I tell my son the line now has turned around and the last will be first and um, I'm just grateful we're going to keep moving. Uh, right now, we are at one day a week to serve. We're going to preferably move that back up to twice a week um, because things are just happening just as I speak. And um, to the U First team, those who have uh, been there from day one, those who have um, been on this journey with me, I told them Saturday, I said, no, I know you guys think I'm crazy uh, when I come up with things and say, hey, we're going to do this. And they're like, how are we going to do that? We don't have any money. We don't have what we need to do that. And um, But now they see the power of faithfulness. They see the power of, you know, um, just staying the course. And so we've stayed the course and here we are. So I wanted to also say to you guys who I know you guys have been reaching out. I know you guys want to support and help. And we want you. We do. We, we need you as a part of our family. And um, if you you know the story, we do not have a location. We would meet once a month at um, the local recreation center here in Atlanta. Um, but of course, due to the pandemic, we haven't been able to do that. So I, of course, have taken it up on myself to, um, you know, do a makeshift uh, place at, at my home. And so I've been stuffing bags by myself. Um, I think I've counted right now. We're at about 16,000 kits. I have stuffed each kit uh, by myself. And um, so we're going to think of some ways to get people involved. But right now, what we need is your support. We need financial support. We need um, gear, uh, definitely more face masks, gloves. Um, any PPE gear that we can get would be uh, a plus plus because we know that people are experiencing homelessness. They don't have that. And so when we're out on the field, um, they're not wearing masks. So we want to make sure that our team is protected. Uh, we have cut down on the numbers of, number of people who actually go out with us because, you know, we have to protect everyone, not just us. We have to protect our homeless individuals as well. And um, this is a community where if they don't want to receive you, they won't. So uh, we just go in love. We go in peace and we do our kindness um, to, to help um, people where they are. So uh, we will be having a donation drive soon. Um, I've been getting a lot of calls to say, hey, Erica, I have socks. I have um, deodorant I have you know lotion shampoo and all of those things are great and we need it so what we're gonna do is a pop-up um, drive-through we're gonna have a location where you'll be able to drive up and drop off your donation uh, we're gonna put the van out there so you can wave at it maybe we'll get some little stickies and if you want to write a positive note we can put them inside the van that would be awesome I'm starting a little um, memorabilia um, little uh, 
portfolio. I even took the mats out that we had and um, I'm gonna save those. And I remember when I got the VIN number, I wrote on this little piece of cardboard on a Ziploc box. So I'm gonna keep all of those things because it's just reminding me um, that God turned that line around. And you know, when God does what he does, she doesn't do it the way you think she's gonna do it. It, ha it just happens. And so that, that's a day that I'll never forget in my life, you know, getting that phone call. And so I just wanted you guys to know that I appreciate you. I love you. Um, it's truly been a blessing. This is an amazing journey. Um, I am t in total shock and awe. It still hasn't hit me. Sometimes I would go back and read some of the articles that people have uh, written about you first and our journey. And some a lot of it has its rights. I laugh when I see things that are wrong. <laughs> But that's a part of it too, and um, I'm just I'm just thrilled that now we're able to show that this is a community that is overlooked, and even in this pandemic, we see a lot about food banks. Hey, go to come to the food bank, get some food. Um, our kids are getting meals from the city, um, and so what I want to show is that this is a community that don't have the luxury of driving to in you know to a food bank to pick up food you know they don't have a luxury of just being able to go into a store and buy soap so we're going to make sure that we're hitting the ground as much as we can to make sure that people have um the simple necessities of life and especially with the numbers going up we know that there are going to be more people experiencing homelessness and so whatever we can do again on the front line just to say hey we're here we see you um you know um you're thought about we're praying for you um that's what we we're going to do and i'm encouraging and asking if you are wherever you are would you please um keep them in your thoughts and in your prayers um these are are, are some amazing people they're not just a person who's coming to the back of this truck and getting something to eat this is someone's mother this is someone's father. This is someone's uncle, um, cousin. These are somebody's children. Um, and so we just love on them. You know, when they when they saw us yesterday and we did a little video, they were so excited to know that Tyler Perry donated his van. And uh, we also heard some other uh, wonderful things that Mr. Perry is doing in the community. One young man told me that he went to McDonald's there and um, put some money, I, I guess, donated some money so that they can come in and eat. And so he's just amazing. I mean, th this is what it means to to be an earth angel and really give to communities when you have. And, and I'm praying that when God, you know, continue to extend our arms, that we're able to to extend to other people. You know, I, I have a, a little circle of nonprofit friends and we, we often talk about, you know, if we just had, you know, if we just had. And so I, I tell them, you know, stay, stay the course, stay focused. Um, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Um, and I've always just been that person to just do the work. So I just wanted to stop. I'm going to um, go ahead and pick up a few things. Um, we have some things coming, but I'm just that person. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit back and wait. We're going to keep moving. And what I usually do, um, of course, since the pandemic is to, we budget, we see what comes in. And, um, then of course, nobody's bringing things to us. So we have to go get them. So well, I'll go in Sam's and pick up some water, pick up some chips and we'll get ready for the next week until that blessing comes in that people who have been calling say, Hey, we'll help out. Um, but you don't just sit back and wait, you just keep moving, but I love you. And, um, please look out for the uh, pop-up drop-off donation. We'll do it uh, probably the second week in July. That's going to be amazing. And then we're working on doing a, a virtual love party. So for those of you who don't know, uh, one of the ways we've been able to get our inventory is that we, of course, use social media, but we're going to do a virtual uh, fundraiser where we can, um, you know, use Zoom and go in and have people that are not really willing to go out and buy things. Um, but they'll be able to make a donation through that. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. So a lot of great things are coming. Um, but again, out of all the, the great things that are coming, I want you to keep in mind the people that we serve. You know, we hit about four or five spots when we go out. And um, I want people to know that people who live without walls are just not a person who lives up under a bridge. It's just not a person who lives in a shelter. There are a lot of people who live in extended stay motels. There are a lot of um, people who are living with other family members. 
And so when you don't have a lease in your name, technically you are homeless. So, um, and, and, and those are experiences that people don't really understand, you know, what the face of it looks like. And so it's not about your skin color. It's not about your gender. It's not about your sexuality or, your, you know, or your political uh, background. It is truly about an experience. And so I want to make sure that is always in the forefront of what we're doing and um, even navigating through through where we are right now we don't we don't really know where we're going to end up but i do know we're gonna we're gonna help as many people as we can i love you and i hope you have an awesome week please be safe and wash your hands and again if you have any um of the gear that we need uh, mask um glove we need some more gloves if you're willing to donate those items please 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 let me know um, because we're, we're, we're really going through them and we need them. All right. I love you. Peace and blessings. Please follow us on Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, please check like on first book so you can see all of the great things that we'll be having, um, coming up soon and subscribe to YouTube, please. Uh, and please be safe. Peace and blessings. Love you.